One of the next important parts of first aid is called incident management. Incident management basically talks about the skills um, that someone has um, in an emergency uh, to manage the scene of the emergency. Uh, first aiders like can be on the scene at the time of an incident. Um, so you, you really need to know the base principles of incident management. So that's what I'm going over with you right now. Um, your first actions when walking across a scene are very important. You should like take a lot of care into uh, how you do it and or how you approach the scene. So first of all, you want to check for any danger. So look around you, make sure there's nothing dangerous that could harm you that possibly could have harmed the individual. Um, also look for bystanders, make sure that bystanders uh, also won't get hurt in the situation. And if there are bystanders, tell them to leave the situation because it's it could be potentially harmful for them. Um, Next thing is to manage any dangers you found. So if there's a danger in an area, but you can uh, mitigate it or um, basically prevent it from becoming an issue, then that's a good thing and you should uh, do that. Um, and then another thing is ensuring the continuous safety of yourselves and others. So always make sure that a situation can't get worse. So like if, for example, someone uh, shocked themselves with a cord, um, you want to make sure that you're in a position that you're not going to get shocked by the cord and that anyone who else who comes into the scene is also not going to get shocked by the cord. And that's really important. So, for example, if you came across a car crash, like what is the first thing you would do? You would look around, you you make sure, you set a situation, you make sure that... Uh, it's not dangerous, so the car, if it could be seriously damaged, you want to make sure that it wouldn't combust or explode or anything. Uh, you also want to look around and see if, like, if it's on the street, are there other cars around it that you would have to look out for? Um, are there are there potential people that could be um, harmful or that you need to look out for? So those are just always things. First aid is about is really about being perceptive, and so if you can be perceptive, um, then that's a really good thing. Um, so another thing is uh, just looking around and seeing if there's a need to be emergency services. Uh, so be ready to be able to dial nine one one in case because if it looks like something really bad happened. Uh, be prepared to dial 911 and let the authorities um, and people know that can take care of it, that there is a problem that can that needs to be solved. Um, and then another thing is, yeah, know your emergency number, 911. That's super, super important. Uh, I, it's, it's a really simple number, but, and sometimes when you're freaking out in the moment, you're like, what do I do? What do I do? Remember, call 911 and you'll be on the line with someone and they'll be able to help you and talk about it. Um, the important thing when you call 911 is to give important information. So you always want to look for uh, the location of the incident. You want to give them the number of victims and the people involved, um, the, like what type of injuries they have, uh, and then also any hazards that they could, that could pose for them. So let's say someone got out of a burning building and they have serious burn wounds. Um, you tell them the address on the street of where it is. You tell them how many people there are. You tell them how severe the burns are and you tell like, hey, there's a fire and it might spread. And so they know that um, if it's a difficult uh, spot to access, um, see if you can try to move the person to a location that they could come. So if you were hiking in the middle of the woods and they got bit by a snake, like a poisonous snake, let's say, um, if possible, um, you'd want to move them out of that situation and like carry them back to a place where um, they could get helped by an ambulance or another emergency person if possible. Um, and yeah, that's basically what I have for um, managing incidents. Thanks so much for watching and tune in next video. Thanks for tuning in with First Aid with Jay.